Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. This is for you guys. Like, I want you to make sure that you walk out of here and there's at least one thing, maybe two, three, four, five, but we'll just shoot for one, that um, you're like, okay, this is going to change my life and my business and what I'm doing every day. And, I mean, I tell people this just isn't for business owners, like soccer moms, And funeral ministries at church use some of the stuff that we do. So it's okay, Brooke, that you're a mom right now (laughs) and you're figuring it out. But I'm pretty sure that, like, you guys will be able to apply a lot of this stuff. Um, And some of you have heard some of this in the beginning that I'm going to go through, but it's literally like the backbone to everything that I do. And so if you don't know the whole story, um, I want to start off and spend a little bit of time telling you guys about that so that if you want to incorporate this into your business or your life, honestly, you can't. I want to change your mindset a little bit today and get you to think a little bit differently. Uh, So communication, as you guys know, is like the key to everything. If you don't know how to communicate with your clients, your customer, even your family, um, life can be hard, right? So they say work hard, understand people, and your life will become easier. So I use a methodology called True Colors, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I learned it in healthcare, and whenever I started my business, I just used it by default because that's all I knew, Um, which I'm really glad because as as I started to travel and learn about other people's processes, uh, vendors in other states and countries were like, how? is everybody so happy like around you like what are you on what pills do you take I'm like uh, I'm just I love what I do I'm very passionate about it and so the true colors methodology I loved it so much that I wrote a book and then the company was like oh no you can't do that you have to go to school and become a certified facilitator So I was kind of mad, but then I went to the week-long school, paid thousands of dollars, and then I graduated, and I'm so glad that I did because it went a lot deeper. And so I'll, I'll show you guys the cards in just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to show you right now so you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, so everybody has all four colors, okay? Orange, gold, blue, green. However... Most people have a bright color and a pale color. Instead of strengths and weaknesses, we say bright and pale. Um, so, so as I go through this again, I'm just going to hit the high points really quick. So oranges, again, like as I talk through it, you'll hit the high lows. Have y'all ever done this? I have for healthcare, I think. Okay. So some of y'all probably heard me talk about this. So I'm not going to read all these slides, okay, because y'all will get this. I'm just going to give you the overview. So for orange at work, oranges need variety. They need to be doing something different every day. They need to be creative. They cannot sit in a cubicle, clock in nine to five, like I would rather jump off a bridge into water and drown, right? Um, They need variety. Typically in in work, a work environment, these are your people that are your salespeople. They're marketing people. They're like, they've got all these ideas and they just never stop, right? When it comes to that. In love, they're very sporadic and spontaneous. Spontaneous, typically. It's like, oh, you want to go out next Friday? It's like, yeah, let's text on Thursday. Like, they don't have to have a lot of planning. They're 
good with like just all this spontaneous stuff. In childhood, these are the kids that are labeled ADD, ADHD. Um, and the teacher's like, oh, your child really can't focus and they need to be on Ritalin or whatever that stuff's called. Um, it may not be that they really have ADD or ADHD. They just learn by doing. They don't learn by reading and and, and like that was me all through school. However, I have a lot of gold in me because I was raised by two gold parents and I wanted to please. So we'll go through that. Um, so again, you guys can go back and look at these. So attributes of gold, they're very playful, energetic, they're charming, they're risk takers. They're like, let's just do it. Like, let's jump. Let's just try. They're master negotiators. They're like, let's make a deal. Um, they're very, very visual. They push the boundaries. They're natural conformists. They thrive on competition, which is funny because I'm not very competitive. Um, they like tangible rewards. Knowing what drives your employees and your team members and your vendors and your clients, that is huge. You've got to know what drives people. Um, they appreciate immediate feedback, which is really important, and they're really most productive in an informal environment. <clears throat> the most important slides today are the ones that say reframing, because if you're not this color, you've got to understand how people are perceiving you. Um, and so, I mean, this really helped me adapt like as I grew my business. So others may perceive me, because I'm very orange, I goof off too much, manipulative, untrustworthy, I can't stay on a task, I'm scattered, taking unnecessary risk, I resist closure on decisions, obnoxious, immature, self-centered, wow. Um, but oranges see themselves as being very flexible and fun and easygoing, and they have a playful attitude, and they explore new opportunities, they're clever, they're negotiators, they're open to change, they have lots of interest, they're able to do many things, they're adventurous, they value freedom, bold, fun, love. They enjoy life, and they're really independent. Sound like anybody? Okay. So, moving on to gold. At work, the golds are the backbone. They are the mommies. They're the backbone of lots of industries. They make wonderful leaders. If you ever hire someone to run your business or run something for you while you're out or, or you're out building something, hire a, a high gold, high gold, not just a little low, like not just like high gold. Um, they are really the backbone. You can count on golds if if you need them to clock in at nine and work till or clock out at five. They're probably going to get there at eight fifty a.m. and they will clock out at five, but they might stay till nine or ten p.m. to get the job done because you've given them a task. So they're very dedicated um, and they're very predictable. They like formal environments and in love, they're very traditional. So these are really high golds. They like to find that partner and that mate and buy a house, have kids, like do the stable American dream. And in childhood, these are the kids that make all A's. They're the teacher's pets. Um, they do what they're told to do because they, they want to please. And so attributes of gold, they're always prepared. They love to plan. They're very detail-oriented. They're like, we should or we should not. There's no grade there. <laughs> uh, they rarely break the speed limit. <laughs> they Some of those are not couple. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Everybody has all four colors. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They're punctual. They're predictable. They're very loyal. They're very responsible. They have a strong belief in policies and procedures and the rules. They're most comfortable with a formal environment. Um, so as my brother is hiring new security guards... I'm like, they need to be very gold because like people like me who are orange, we think the rules don't apply. And so when there's like barriers and cones and I'm like driving and I need to park to load in for an event, I'll just get out and move it. I don't care. Like I'm in a hurry. Right. And then an officer will come up and be like, duh, 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 and then I try to talk. Him. I'm like, so have you been married before? And um, I'm a wedding planner and I'm really trying, you know, so yeah, I can tell if they're like super gold, but they have a little bit of blue or orange because they'll let me through. Um, <laughs> but sometimes if they don't, I was like, damn, you're gold, and damn, you're doing your job, and good for you. <laughs> you're good. Um, so it's just, you know, I try to have fun with it. 
Reframing for gold, others may perceive high goals as rigid, inflexible, controlling, bossy. They're too serious. They're system-bound. They lack imagination. They're boring. They're uptight. They're predictable. But goals, they see themselves as being very consistent. They provide structure. They're goal-oriented. They know right from wrong. They're very loyal to the organization, realistic. They seek closure. They're dependable. They follow a routine, and they have wonderful leadership ability. Wonderful. Any goals? High goals? Anybody? No? Okay. I definitely have gold. It's just, but I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. All right. Blue. So, blue. Blues at work, these are your customer service people. These are the people that on Saturdays when I need somebody to just take care of my client or a bride and carry their dress around and carry their flowers around and ask them, what can I get you? I put a high blue on it because they genuinely care. And so these are the people that like if you come into work and you're coughing or sniffling and they're like, what's wrong? You don't feel good? And you're like, oh, it's just allergies or you're generally sick and they're they're like bringing you soup and cookies and they're like I have Aleve and Sudafed and Allegra and Zyrtec like which one would you like and if you're like oh actually I'm allergic to all that I like this like they would go out to the store and get it for you on their lunch break like the thing about blues though is um, sometimes in customer service like they don't know when to cut off a bitchy client and it's like stop talking you're wasting time now so sometimes it's like you really have to push a blue and teach a blue. Um, I want you to listen, and I want you to get good feedback from a customer, but then it has to be shut off at some point. Um, I'm, I'm My second color is blue, and so it's like I want to say yes to everything, and I want to keep talking and answering, and then I have to have a goal be like, shut up. You need to go. You're late. I'm always late because I just love to talk to people, right? So in love, the blues, they believe in true love, and they believe in, like, poetry and long walks on the beach, and um, blue people give up their happiness to make other people happy, and so, like, blue clients, when they come in, and I'm going to teach y'all how I can read people before I ever even meet them, it's so cool, Um, they... I I can just tell. And so, like, when mom or dad or fiancé leaves the room, I'm like, okay, what do you really want? Like, tell me what you really... And it's like I have to literally yank it out of them. You can always tell for destination weddings when their welcome box budget is, like, $100 a room. And I'm like... Uh, are you sure you want to spend that much? Like, we have 65 sleep rooms, and then they want to do a handwritten note for every single person. I'm like, you know, you can write it once, and I can just print that shit. Like, it's way more productive. (laughs) And they're like, no, 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 it's not personal. And they want to spray it with their perfume and all that. So, in childhood, seriously, you guys, in childhood, um, these are the kids that learn best if their teachers are affectionate. So, the teachers that hug and, like, you know, kiss them on the head, and they're really, really affectionate. They warm up, and like for teachers, blue. Media, they're mediators, they're optimistic, they're caretakers. So, like, lots of nurses, uh, people in the hospitality industry, they're peacemakers, they're true romantics, they need to feel special. Um, They always have a kind word. They enjoy romance. They are spiritual. They are very sensitive to the needs of others. Like, they truly wear their heart on their sleeve. They motivate others, and they cooperate rather than compete. Others think that blues are very emotional. They're sensitive. They're mushy. They're persuaded. They're too nice. They're too trusting. They're too soft. They're too giving. They're weak. They talk too much, and they're just freaking illogical and then blues perceive themselves as having feelings and they're compassionate they're romantic they're empathetic they really do care they're very very nurturing Uh, they really like to please people they want harmony they're great communicators and they value feelings so as an adult my mother is like 60 blue like if you ever do the test you'll see the four numbers and oh my god she has so many questions but now as an adult it's like she's just really blue and she really cares and she really values like my feelings all right last but not least green So greens at work, work is play for them, and they like to work alone. These are people that they love to research, they love numbers, they... 
are so good. My brain is so not green. Um, these are accountants and a lot of doctors, and they just love learning and researching. Again, on their own. They don't need to be in a group. In love, greens do not let their heart rule their head. They want to turn back to their career. And in childhood, the greens had to respect their teacher before they would learn from them. Like greens, like a five-year-old seems like they're 15 if they're super, super green. They just, they love to learn. Attributes of green, they, their favorite question or their favorite word is why. Why? Why? Why do we, why? 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 Ah! Why? Um, they're idea people. A lot of, the, they start things and then they move on. And they hire people and then they move on. They're perfectionists. They're standard setters. They're visionaries. They can never know enough. They're cool, calm, collective. Work is play. Um, They really need independence and privacy. I taught this class one time, and this lady came up to me at the end. She was like, I thought my husband was cheating on me, and he just wanted to play golf and, like, go to the movies by himself. And he's really green. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's just really green. Like, he's not cheating. Um, So it's just crazy. Like, when when you don't understand your partner or your spouse or your team or your clients, like, it's hard, right? And that's why people get divorced. It's just, it's too much work. And often opposites attract. I'll talk about that in a second. And y'all, this is the base of technology. Understanding. I know you're like, you're not talking about apps yet. Like you got to understand this before you move into the whole paperless stuff. Um, they, they just, oh, they know how to spell big words and say big words. Like our super green person on our team. I'm like, she'll send me text. I'm like, what's that? I'll have to Google the word to, like, figure it out. So then I got this app, Marco Polo, where it's, like, video texting. And yesterday she texted me. She's like, I'm 85% sure you got Marco Polo, so you didn't have to text. Because I don't understand her text sometimes. I'm like, no, that's not why I got it, but it is cool. Okay, reframing green. Others perceive you as arrogant. You know it all. You're cold. You're insensitive. You got your head in the clouds. You're lacking compassion. You're argumentative. A lot of attorneys are green. Um, You're absolutely minded green perceives themselves as being very confident they're mentally tough they're strong visionaries they're self-controlled they're really good at like analytics and analysis they're objective they have the ability to reprimand and they have high expectations they're very knowledgeable and they're deep thinkers so now that you know the basis behind the colors like don't ever ask a blue to reprimand ever they, they'll throw up, they won't sleep at night, and they probably won't sleep for a week. But a green, they can handle it. They, there's, there's no emotion. All right, so this is where it gets really fun. So this is my contact form on my website. And so this is how I know what people are before they come in, right? So um, the golds, now I'll start with orange. Oranges don't even fill this out. It's like they text me, they Facebook me, they Pinterest me. I know. Let me tell you, I can spend one hour with you and I know what you are. Um, But if you fill this out, then I kind of already know what you are. But we really try to put everyone in the process because everything that we do now is very automated with automation, but it's still very personal and customizable. So if an orange person, I'm like, cool. I can't wait to hear about it. Fill out the form. If they can't fill out the form, they're not going to be able to get into my process. Not a good client for me. You just have to fill out. I know this is really small, but see, there's a star, star, first name, last name, phone, email. That's all I need from you. Okay, four things. The rest of it, I'll figure it out. But if you can't fill out those four things, I can't, I'm just going to work with you. Um So, oranges will do that, but again, I have to make sure that uh, they can at least meet a little bit of, take a little bit of direction. So, the additional message is the most important to me. Um, Most people have Pinterest study, so I like Pinterest. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Be sure to subscribe today so you never, ever miss the juicy details of Weddings Unveiled. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. 
And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable.